Hey everyone, this is Matthew here. I've put together a recorder using non-original parts. The only thing that's original about it is the Edison recorder body. Everything else is synthetic. Now I'm using a piece of plastic as a diaphragm, my own copper stylus holder and a piece of glass as a cutting stylus. The gasket inside is made of a synthetic material called floor carbon and uh, like I say it's a synthetic material then it's clamped with a rubber gasket on top and that is of course uh, all sealed up and everything. Um, the recorder is very sensitive at the moment. Um, the one thing of course what I've said is uh, letting it down is the cutting stylus but um, I wanted to just show it's possible to make a recording if you had absolutely nothing at all it's possible to make a recording using household objects now there's a great video on YouTube of uh, the Victrola guy Benjamin who uh, makes a stylus out of a piece of carbon steel a carbon steel stylus which uh, is uh, effective now this uh, result I've got like I say it's using completely non-original parts and there's no rules only some and that's the fun part about the hobby is experimenting and having fun at the same time. There are no rules. They're meant to be uh, uh, explored. And uh, I think that's the beauty of it. You know, uh, instead of having everything sort of handed to you on a plate, it's nice to uh, explore it and have a bit of fun with it. So we've got here an Edison Home Model A phonograph and a, uh, a Paul Morris blank cylinder we're going to use as a test just take this uh, model to model B the reproducer and uh, we're going to put this recorder in the carriage are we're going to make a quick test recording and uh, hopefully <laughs> the moment of truth hopefully we'll get a recording with it right then so we've got the uh, recorder mounted in the up position as uh, the Victrola guy calls it in the up position as I made the uh, the stylus holder and uh, the stylus a little bit too big but uh, I was afraid to take it apart because uh, it does make a recording at the moment the first time um, actually this is the first time I've ever done anything like this uh, before you know sort of uh, repair these recorders and things it's uh, it's a whole lot of fun actually um, while we're here, I'll just mention this phonograph is interesting. This is a Model A phonograph, and you don't usually see it's got an interesting um, sort of screw on, uh, you know, on for the end gate, and uh, you have the button instead of the uh, the lever. It's quite quite interesting. I don't usually use this machine as uh, it's got a little bit of a uh, governor issue that I need to uh, address. It's it's only a little bit of maintenance. That's another thing, isn't it? with uh, these collectors as well you know uh, maintenance of machines it's uh, it's important but anyway let's start her up it's rolling I'm gonna try and do this one-handed um, <laughs> here we go moment of truth I'm gonna drop the stylus and uh, gonna make a recording She's using this uh, aluminium horn as a quick test anyway testing one two three four five I am speaking at a normal tone voice to make this recording. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not a very good whistler. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing the recorder using synthetic parts. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Well, that was a bit of an interesting recording. If someone found that in a hundred years, I'd wonder what that was all about. But anyway, as you can see, um, there's a lot of swarf. That is a good sign. It made a it made a groove. Uh, the moment of truth now is to uh, play it back, and we're going to see what happens. Right then, the moment of truth. I just put a Model C reproducer on the old uh, on the old uh, Edison home here, 
and we're going to see <laughs> what kind of result we get. Hang on, here we go. Well, there we go, far from perfect. Um, but as you can see, I was just using an aluminium horn um, to make the recording, and um, I'm going to be making a lot of adjustments now to uh, get this working. I just wanted to show it's possible to make a recorder just using household objects really and uh, getting a a recording but uh, far from perfect but uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, there'll be more to come. I just wanted to document this because I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to make some adjustments uh, to this but uh, while it was working I was afraid to take it apart because uh, you know while it's uh, Sort of working, worked on the first time I tried it. So that's encouraging. Anyway, more to come. I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more.